The Exeter incident was a highly publicized UFO sighting that occurred on September 3, 1965, approximately 5 miles 8 kilometers, south of Exeter, New Hampshire, in the neighboring town of Kensington. Although several separate sightings had been made by numerous witnesses in the weeks leading up to September 3, the specific incident, eventually to become by far the most famous, involved a local teenager and two police officers. At approximately 2 a.m., Muscarillo saw in some nearby woods five bright flashing lights, colored deeply red. The lights lit up the woods and a neighboring farmhouse. Accompanied by no sound or displacement of air, the lights began moving toward him, and, alarmed by their approach, Muscarillo leapt into a roadside ditch. Soon, the lights shifted away from him and moved back toward the farmhouse before finally retreating into the woods. In alarm, Muscarillo ran to the farmhouse and began pounding on the door, asking for help, but there was no answer. The home belonged to the dining family, who were away at the time of the incident. Spotting a vehicle driving down the highway, Muscarillo forced it to stop. The couple in the car drove their highly agitated passenger directly to the exit to police station. At the police station Muscarillo told his story to officer Reginald Dilland, who worked the night desk. Dilland, who knew Muscarillo, was impressed by his obvious fear and agitated state. Dilland raided police officer Eugene Bertrand, Jr., who earlier in the evening had passed a distressed woman sitting in her car on an H-108. When Bertrand stopped and asked if she had a problem, the woman told him that a huge object with flashing red lights had been following her car for 12 miles 19 kilometers, and stopped over her car before flying away. Bertrand considered her a joke but did stay with her for approximately 15 minutes until she had calmed down and was ready to resume her drive. After arriving at the police station and hearing Muscarillo's story, Bertrand decided to drive back to the dining farm with Muscarillo to investigate the field where he had seen the UFO. Bertrand drove Muscarillo back to the place of his sighting. From Bertrand's patrol car they saw nothing unusual. However, when they left the car and walked towards the woods where Muscarillo had first seen the objects, some horses in a nearby corral began kicking their stalls and making loud, frightened noises. Dogs in the area also began howling. Bertrand and Muscarillo both saw an object rise up from the woods beyond the corral. Bertrand described the UFO as this huge, dark object as big as a barn over there, with red flashing lights on it. The object moved slowly towards them, swaying back and forth. Instinctively remembering his police training, Bertrand dropped to one knee, drew his pistol, and pointed it at the object. He then decided that shooting would not be wise, so he holstered the pistol, grabbed Muscarillo, and both men ran back to the patrol car. Bertrand raided another exit to policeman, David Hunt, for assistance, and while the two men waited for Hunt to arrive they continued to watch the object. According to UFO historian Jerome Clark, Bertrand and Muscarillo observed the object as it hovered 100 feet away and at 100 feet altitude. It rocked back and forth. The pulsating red lights flashed in rapid sequence, first from right to left, then left to right, each cycle consuming no more than two seconds. The local animals continued to act agitated. When Hunt arrived, he also watched the strange object. The object finally flew away over the woods and disappeared. Hunt soon saw a B-47 bomber fly overhead, and he later told journalist John G. Fuller that you could tell the difference between the UFO and the bomber, there was no comparison. All three men drove back to the exit to police station and immediately filed separate reports on what they had seen. Bertrand then drove Muscarillo home and told his mother what had happened.